Right, we've got a starting depth here and we've got a final depth. So if we subtract them, we can work out how much the depth has changed. And that's going to be looking at it 3.6. Now, I can see that it's going to be 0 0.3 centimetre decrease per day. And so if I find out how many 0 0.3s go into 3.6, then that will tell me how many days. Um, I can write that as 3.6 divided by 0.3 and then standard practice for this sort of thing is to basically get rid of the decimals times top and bottom by 10 to make it 36 over 3 which is 12. I'm gonna, it's going to be 12 days for the depth to reach that, that height. Okay and then if the depth of the water decreases at a slower rate what effect will it have on your answer to part A? Well it's going to take longer for the depth to decrease, so um, it, I'm just going to write it will take longer.